Now let's start with animation. So let's start with a needle animation. So remember, needle animation is your standing. And as I told you, sometimes, well, it's difficult to craft these things, okay? So what about if we want this guy to be like bending or uh, what's the name? Bowing a little bit. Okay, so probably we can rotate here. We select the torso. Make sure that all your parts are over there. So select all the parts here. And then we are going to add here a movement. First, let's see that this is the starting position, the original. So let's add here to uh, stay here. You place your pointer here at the top and then you add keyframe. And it's going to add a keyframe for all the parts that you have in here. That's why it's important to add all of them. Then we go to the middle. Okay, we can add, I guess, 60 frames. It's good. So we are going to copy this one because it's going to be a loop. It's pretty simple. Middle. Then we are just going to paste the keyframes. Then we go to the middle, the center, and then we are going to make like a movement. So I'm going to make this guy like, like moving forward. So I select the torso and then I try to rotate using the red handle for the rotation. Remember that you can use this thing, okay, just pressing R and selecting a part. I mean, now if you check the feet move. But now, thanks to these beautiful uh, blocks or red blocks, I know where the feet more or less should be. Okay, so I'm going to move the. Uh, I'm going to select this one, pressing Shift. Now pressing Control to select both of them, and then I'm going to rotate them using the. Uh, well, this is like the opposite, so we need to move one by one. So sorry. And then check, more or less is in place, like the original place. Not perfect, but more or less. Oh, shit. I'm moving this. And then we do the same for this guy. And check, more or less. So if you need to move this one a little bit forward, just press R. And a little bit. Also the other one. And with R, now you are not uh, rotating, but you are like moving. So let's move it a little bit forward. Ah, that's okay. Now we can see what we have now. If we press here, loop, enable loop animation because it's a needle animation. Also here in the options, set animation priority to idle. Now let's see what we have. Check. This looks pretty cool because it's like moving a little bit forwards, but it looks like the feet are more or less in place, more or less. Okay, so that's okay. So that's okay. I guess I like it. Now, what about if we give uh, probably not at the very center, but we can move the arm. Probably if if we move forward, probably the arms a little bit opens, open and go a little bit back also this tentacle it's open and going a little bit back okay and probably i don't know if we can open the mouth yeah just like a little bit just to make it look like an evil captain okay now let's see what we have now Okay, not perfect, but might work. So here is moving this, and that's it. We have these animations for this, for the big. Probably this one, I'm going to close it faster. So here, I'm going to go here. I'm going to add a keyframe here for the big. Add keyframe, and then I'm going to reset this because it's close in the original position, just to have it like That's it. Probably the arms are bending too much. So a little bit less. Remember, we don't have something like very dramatic. We want something a little bit more subtle. I guess that's okay. Probably a little bit the head bending, bending the head. 
here and that's okay And in that way, we have a needle animation. Now, just make sure if for needle animation that it's loop, and then make sure that you have your animation priority in needle. And then you just export. And then you just write here the name, for example, a captain, but well, something like this, cap pat, and needle. Uh, let's uh, use a description, anything, and that's it.